Hi all, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Um, uh, now, in this video, I'm going to do part two of the uh, Luke Skywalker lightsaber video. So we got to the point where we completely modeled it. Now, if you haven't um, had a go at that or you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up in the top corner, so check it out. Um, it's quite a cool video just showing you how to model the Luke Skywalker lightsaber hilt. Just for a bit of fun, really, more than anything. Now, um, uh, in this video, I did mention I'll create a second video that's going to go through um, applying material and rendering so that we get a realistic look to the model. So that's what we're going to have a go at today. So um, this lightsaber hole is predominantly made of a steel. So I am going to go grab the overall model here in my design tree. Right click on there and change the appearance. And I've changed the appearance of that model and I've got now my appearance options up in the top corner. Okay. Um, uh, this is just one way of getting into it. There are multiple ways. Uh, I'll show you another way in a minute. So what I want to do first is set my overall generic material. So my main one, I'm going to go steel. I'm just going to pick a polished steel for this. And that will apply that polished steel to the whole model. Just clicking a tick at the top here. Okay. So that's applied it to the overall model. Now there's some bits of this that aren't polished steel. There are other, other materials. So I'll apply them individually. So let's go for applying a couple of the other colors. So for instance, there's a black overspray to um, certain surfaces. So I'm just going to click on the surfaces that have that black overspray. Now, unfortunately, this does get a little bit laborious because you have to go and select each surface individually. So it's not a massively quick process, as you can see. There we go, just going to turn that, that, and that, and then that, and that. Okay, so all of that section is going to be sprayed black. So I'm just going to right click on the surface, and when we right click on it, we'll get some options. So I'm going to go to appearance, and I'm going to select the surface option. Now, if I collect any of it, select the body or the um, the feature here, what's going to happen is that it will change the whole color of the whole model to whatever I select now. But if I select the surface, it's only going to change the surface of that model. So I'm going to go for painted, and I'm going to go for spray painted black color. And that'll apply it on them faces, like so. I just tick up in the top corner to approve that, like so. So I've now got that black spray painted look through there. Now the other color that's applied onto here is a copper color. So we're going to select the faces that have the copper effect, which in this case is all of this. Like so and all of the features on the face of here. So just click it along there. And I'm going to turn the angle of that so that we can do the other side as well. Like I said, just takes a few uh, minutes, a little bit laborious going for each face, but it's the best way and the most accurate way of doing it. So we'll take that time, get it right. And it'll look good once it's rendered. 
Okay, so I'm just going to go down the other inside facer there. And uh, so we've got that all selected along there. And on the main shaft, there are also a couple of little bits. So we've got there, there, and there. There are also the copper color. So I'm just going to right click on that surface. I'm going to change the appearance again. And again, adding it to the surface. And I'm going to go to metals, and this time I'm going to go down to copper and pick the copper color. So I'm just going to take that one there and apply that to the model like so. Okay, so the last little bits now are the rubber buttons and the two little light switches here. So with the rubber buttons, so we're looking at that. I'm going to right click on the object here. I'm going to change the appearance of that object and just that feature. So I'm going to go for a, a not a metal. I'm going to go to a rubber. I'm going to go to a matte rubber and black um, a matte rubber effect there for the two buttons. And then for the lights, I'm just going to highlight these. I'll do one at a time because they're two different colors. So the first one, I'm going to set the appearance on the face. And I am going to change that to a plastic. I'm going to go to a high gloss. And I am going to go to a green. I'm going to do the same on the other. So highlight the material. Click the edges, the faces, right click on there, change the appearance, change the appearance on the face, and I am going to go again, high gloss, but this time I'm going to go to red. Okay, and then that should be all of the different appearances we need on there, all the different colors. Now, at this point, it looks all right, but it's not rendered, it doesn't look smart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to render that. Um, at lightsaber hill. So on mine, the render tool is already added in here. But if you need to add it in, if you go to SolidWorks Add-ins and click Photo View 360, and it'll bring up this tab here and activate the tab. Now, this is a really basic rendering uh, tool that's within the SolidWorks software. There are a lot more accurate, a lot more um, better looking rendering systems than this. Um, but just for a quick process, this is quite useful. So we'll just use this as a quick process. I'm not going to set up any cameras. And like I said, it's just going to be quick just to show you the idea of it. So I'm going to click Final Render. Give it a moment. It'll load up. Now, this will all be quicker depending on the speed of your computer. So if you have a faster computer than mine, yours will load up a little bit quicker. Um, uh, but we're going to get a full view here of the model. And there we go. So we get our full view here of our model. Um, as you can see, there's some of the things here that I've done as well. So you get an idea. Um, uh, of a, just quickly creating basic renders. Okay, um, so that's it really for this last part of the uh, lightsaber hill tutorial. Um, hopefully you found that interesting. Um, have a go, uh, have a bit of a play with it. I mean, sometimes some, the best way to learn the software is just have a play and have a go at design and some bit fun rather than constantly trying to work to component drawings and things. So. Yeah, have a good, have a play. Um, like I say, if you enjoy the content, enjoy the material, please like, give us a big like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. 
and um, I will see you with more content in the future. Hope to see you soon. Bye now.